What's up, my Doordash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Hope everybody's doing well on this beautiful Hell No Thursday, boy. That's right, guys. It's Hell No Thursday. Well, anybody, and I mean anybody, can get a Hell No from 0 to 60. You feel me? All right, family. First, I want to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning. It is truly a blessing to be on this earth one more again. Doing what I love to do and being on vacation while I'm doing it. All right, Bakari, man, y'all ain't got nothing to worry about, man. Man, it's been so slow. I think this is our off week. Hold on. See, all the all the um, bonuses is going to, this is what I got to deal with. No bonuses. We got $2 bonuses, but that ain't even the zone I'm working in. You know what I mean? But anywho, anyhow, man, y'all ain't got nothing to worry about, man. It's been so slow. I haven't hit my goal at all, which is 160, so I ain't going to beat y'all. I ain't even going to come near you. I'm like 200 and something dollars in, man. Normally, I'm like, by now, I'm like three, four, five hundred. So, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. You know what I mean? Oh, slow down, player, before you get hit. Oh, gee. That close from having an accident. Woo. All right, we're on our fifth order. We're doing good. We started off great this morning. One thing for sure, I am going to make top dashes. I am going to do a hundred and some orders, but I'm not going to, man, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it in one week, but I'm not even going to catch y'all guys, man. They got to have a miracle. I need a 200 day today. The evening's been so slow. I, I know we got a lot of people, but damn. All right, we're going to Holiday Inn right here. No, yeah, this Holiday Inn. Yeah. So... Oh, shout out to Michelle and Alfonso. I want to thank you guys for a birthday gift, man. This is so beautiful. Thank you very much. I am in love with my cup. This morning coffee is sponsored by Michelle and Alfonso out of um, Hawaii. Thank you so much. Heartfelt. Love you guys. Appreciate everything that you've done. Okay, right here. The popcorn and the cookie is perfect. Not too sweet. The wifey love it and whatnot. She's trying to get my cup, but I, I told her, oh, hell no. You're not getting my cup. Okay, how much you admire to like it? You're not getting my cup. All right, family, I'll be right back. Let's drop this order off. See you in a minute. I'm back, family. I enjoyed the debates last night. It was better than the presidential debate. debate. I think she held her own. I wouldn't want to get into an argument with that chick, man. She ain't no joke, Mr. Harris. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, I really did. Uh, I don't know what to say, but I, I enjoyed it. Uh, my post is already on paper. I just got to sign the back of my envelope. And I am going to wear my... Stick of Prowley. So if you get a mail-in vote, then uh, you get it also get a sticker saying that um, I, I mailed in my vote. I voted, whatever the hell the sticker say, but you do get a sticker. It's important, guys. You don't damn vote. All right, I'm back. But yeah, man. Um, I love I love the gifts and the treat, man. Me and the wife we set up last night. We watched um, the debate eating cookies and uh you know popcorn that was sent from hawaii made in hawaii and whatnot and it tastes mm, perfect i mean not too sweet good i almost ate the whole damn bag by myself because i'm a fat boy you know i, I got to eat and you know yeah that that kind of triggered my 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 fat boy inside hunger what you call it and boy i, I boy, wife said boy that's that's it she had to take it from me man i was about to eat the whole bag because it was so good you know what I mean? If I like something, man, I, I, I'd get rid of it in one day. It can be juice, pie, whatever. That's my problem. 
I call my fish out fat boy because I have fat boy tendencies. I want to eat. And I tell you, boy, I was throwing down, man. I might have gained 10 pounds last night, man. I ain't lying. But the cup is beautiful, man. It keep my stuff hot. You know, if you get a, if you get it in the cup, your coffee in the cup, you save like 50 cents, 80 cents. I think it's 50 cents, almost a dollar. So, I mean, I saved some money, so thank you. Appreciate you. But yeah, Bakari, man, I'm struggling. Oh, did I clear my thing out? Uh, yeah. So right now, guys, we at $21. Like I said, I've been, I've been going since five. I mean, I'm on my, I probably did five orders and only made $21. But I'm out here. I'm, in, I'm out here getting it, man. The orders are not big. No $10. I think the highest order I did yesterday was like $7.80. Eight dollars and twenty-five cents, maybe, but it's okay. Slow motion is better than no motion. That's how I look at it. All right, so I'm going to my favorite Chick-fil-A, and um, I'm good. I only could dash to ten thirty. I got to take care of some stuff with the wifey, and then I'll be back on this evening. Hey. Excuse me, guys. Then I'll be back on this evening. Good to go, man. It's good right there. But I'm enjoying life, man. I truly am, man. I haven't been this happy in a long time. A lot of changes going on on the job. Hopefully, while I'm on vacation, we lost our manager. Um, so hopefully, hopefully things will get way better than what it is. I'm looking forward to either a new manager or becoming a manager. I would not apply for the job. If they don't come and ask me, I, I'm not gonna apply for it. I'd rather get promoted. When people promote you, I feel like they want you. When they don't promote you and they go outside the company, then you know you you just good at what you do. You know what I mean? So that that's how I look at it. I can honestly say that back back in the day when I was manager and I promoted an employee to a supervisor, uh, that person lasted longer than the person that we bought on the outside because they know. They're appreciative, for one, for getting promoted. Two, their loyal, loyalty belongs to you and the company for promoting them. When you bring somebody in new, they don't, you know, they don't, if they don't get it, they don't understand it. Hot damn fish on the hook. Oh, oh, I got you. Where you going? Oh, oh, oh. Y'all know how you catch a fish and the fish be trying to get away? Hot damn, 725, Cypress Glen. All right, y'all, caught a fish. Had to reel them in. All right, we got 725 Dunkin' Donut. That's where we headed at, guys. You know. But yeah. So, y'all know what I'm talking about. Those that ever been promoted. It's, it's something about being promoted, you know. And, and the company and that you work for can see value in you. And they say, hey, you know, we want you to take this position because we feel we know that we're making the right decision by promoting you. When you bring somebody in the inside, they got to go through the whole, what's it called, system. And if they don't like it, they, they'll leave on you. You know what I mean? It's like this. If you, and I'll give you a perfect example, then you can understand what I'm talking about. If you have guys over there in Afghanistan, they've been over there for years and years, and you bring in somebody just fly in, they nights. Nice. They're not used to what's going on. The bombing and the shooting and being in, what you call it. They might freeze up. A person like that can get you killed. But when you have somebody that's seasoned, that's used to it, that go through it every day, that's the type of person I want. They have my back. You know what I mean? So that's my take on it, guys. But Y'all just keep me in prayer. I would like to have the position because I know I can fix the problems. Because the problems is fixable. But only if they promote me. And, you know, no, 
God forced me to apply for it, to interview for it. You know what I mean? This is my team. All right, get off of that. All right, we back dashing, guys. We going to Dunkin' Donut, my favorite place in the world. Dunkin' better stop playing. I use this hand soap in um, Chick-fil-A. It smells like that spray that you use when you're trying to hide that you've been smoking weed or you've been smoking because my son used to have this spray. And it, it, it just kind of makes me sick. I don't like the smell of that. Because my son would go in the bathroom back in the day and smoke a cigarette and he would spray this spray. And you'll come in and you'd be like, oh, what that cologne you got on, boy? Oh, that stuff ain't right. You know what I mean? Sorry, son, I ain't trying to put your business out there, but that's how this soap smells. You can buy it at the um, smoke shop or you can buy it at the gas station. People used to come to work with that on and I, I, I'd be like, yeah, you've been out there smoking, huh? What you been smoking, son? Oh, Mr. Oh, I was smoking a cigarette. I ain't wanna, I ain't, I ain't, he wasn't smoking no cigarette. <laughs> yes, sir. Your kids will put you on the game when they ain't doing right. Yeah, family. Sorry, guys, about the video, the quality of the video yesterday. Thank you, Frederick, for letting me know. Uh, shout out to my man, Frederick, man. Loving the book. Loving the book. Oh, my God, man. Wifey made me put it up last night. Loving the book. Um, in case y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Freddie Douglas Jr. Have a book out written uh, by my man, you know, in honor of his father, uncle. Uh, it's called I Am My Father's Son. Please go out and get it, family. I cannot express to you. If you want a good read, if you've been through something, this book going to touch you like like somebody putting their hands on you. If you ever been through anything, as a kid, whatever, this book will touch you in a way that, you know, a good cry will help you out. You know what I mean? It's that type of book. You're going you, you're gonna to share some tears if you've been through something. And if you haven't been through something, at least you'll get a chance to see how he overcame what he went through. But go get the book, guys. That's a beautiful book. I'm just going to stop like that. Gee, be Christmas, man. It ain't your fault. I hate when people tailgate people and they get brake checked and then they slam on their brake. Stop tailgating people. Gee, Christmas. I'm always driving with at least two or one or two car lanes between me and the person. <laughs> but my father, I'm gonna tell you guys, my father, may he rest in peace. My sister, father, I call him my father because I'm named after him. Uh, I remember one time somebody was tailgating him. My father set him up so good. So what he did was uh, when, it, when the car in front of him was about to stop, my father, he dipped over to the right because the dude was tailgating so close that he ran into the back of the other car. My father said, that's how you fix the tailgater. Instead of hitting your brakes, you just move out the way and the car in front of him. I mean, that, that's wrong. No, no, don't get me don't get me wrong. It was wrong what my father did, but he taught that guy a lesson. I just hope the people that he hit was okay. <laughs> My father said, watch this. And he said, Phew. and when he moved, dude ran right into the back of the other person's car. I know it wasn't right, family, but I'm just saying. I ain't telling you to go out there and do this. I'm just telling you how my father did it. <laughs> I know that. I shouldn't have told y'all that. Cause some of y'all gonna say, okay, yeah. I had that problem. I'm going to fix this, but Kingfish, whatever you hear on this video do not mean to go do, Okay. That's my disclaimer. Don't nobody say Kingfish said do it. All right, fam. All right, we're going to get this order right now, dude. All right, my table. Coffee stay hot. Oh, my gracious. My wife told me, you're not taking that to work. You're going to dash with that and you're going to bring it back home, okay? Like, yes, mommy. Thank you. I'm only 50 years old. I think I can do what I want to do. But 
I'll leave it at home, baby. <laughs> Do I feel any different? Hell no, I don't feel no different. I feel the same way when I was 25 years old. You know, I just got a little gray hair, that's all. I don't move as fast as I used to move. That's suspected. But I don't feel no different. I went to get my eyes checked. I do need readers. Um, just reading, you know. At work we have, everything is small at work. And you know, you strain your eyes so much that the doctor said, you know, it's best for you to get some readers. So my wife gonna go, she's gonna measure us up and, and order some, uh, some glasses on. But it's cool. It's cool. When I get them, I'm going to share them with y'all. I don't know what kind I want to get yet. They have, oh my God, they got so many different uh, frames. I just want something that when I'm at work, I feel comfortable. I don't look crazy. I really don't care how I look. Uh, but I want to just be able to read and, and be efficient on the job. Can't wait to get back and meet the two new supervisors that we have. I already heard that I'm gonna have to straighten one of them out. One thing we don't do is we don't allow people to come in and, and think that they're gonna get a free ride. I hold all my guys accountable. I got the most seniority. I'm the OG, so I gotta, you know, I gotta keep it up. I gotta make sure the guys are right. There's one thing, let me let me explain something to you guys. Even though you might be on the same level as your peer, but it's okay to hold your peer accountable because if everybody's not on the same page and walking the same walk, it can make your life hell. It can make your job harder. You know what I mean? So you best believe Kingfish gonna get them guys straight when they get back. First night, they wanna know what time they're getting off. Getting, getting off what time we get done. And I blame the, uh, when we, we don't keep supervisors because I blame whoever hired them because they don't tell them that you're going to be, <laughs> you're going to be working 16, 17 hours some nights. They don't tell them that, you know, when you get your first paycheck, them extra hours is not reflected on your paycheck because you're salary, you know. And the worst mistake a, a new supervisor can do at, at Coca-Cola is divide his hours into his pay and see what he making per hour. <laughs> if he do that, he gonna quit. <laughs> hey, lie, boy. That's a great company to work for, boy, I tell you, but the pay is, uh, uh only because of uh, the owner. You know, every, every Coca-Cola house is owned. I thought it was owned by the brand itself. But they have to follow the rules and regulations of the brand. But each individual owns and can do what they want to do with their, their uh, employees. Since the pandemic, man, I'm gonna tell you how bad it's been for us. They don't even they don't even contribute to our um, 401k no more. How sad is that? They took our. Uh, uh, Pension plan away, adapted the 401k, and then because of COVID 19, we made billions and millions of dollars because we haven't shut down at all through this pandemic, and they're not even contributing to our 401k. Who want to work for a company like that? Sorry, I just get some stuff off my chest, you know what I mean? So when I do go back to work, I can, I can bring all this forward, you know what I mean? hate to be talking about the job but when stuff bothers me I know I can talk to my family and get that positive feedback that I need you know what I mean I don't want to start over guys it'll be three years in June I, I, I'm i at that age where I, I just don't want to start over guys but I'm not going to take anything <laughs> you know I'm going to bring change because I ain't going nowhere that's the money right and I have good relationship for those um, executives that's left, that left the company. So hopefully one of them will call me and say, hey, man, I could use a good manager or supervisor uh, to help run my company. I'll be right there. 
How big is this water? Oh, not big. Two drinks and a hash brown. I like what Dunkin' Donuts doing there. Before we had to order and pay with the red card, but now it's bagged up, it's prepaid. And I have, I'll be honest with you guys, only time I use my card is at Wendy. I don't, that's the only time. Soon I think they're gonna do away with the red card, but I barely use my red card at all. Before I used to use it everywhere. Dunkin' Donut, McDonald's, Wendy's. I still use that Wendy's. But uh, now, it's, it's, I, I like the way they're doing that. Just pick up and go. That's what I like. I hope Wendy get their stuff together. So we can stop using the red card. Even at the Chinese joints. I used to use them at the Chinese joints. Because uh, they didn't, you know. I think DoorDash changed the way they do now. Because before it used to take a, a month for the people to get their money. And that's why they didn't want to deal with DoorDash like that. They'd rather use the red card. But hopefully they change their way. All right, fam. We're going to get this fish. I'm back, fam. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we delivering this to. <sighs> see the little bag you get for Dunkin' Donut, man? Ain't it cute? <sighs> Oh, this month is um cancer month, so y'all guys, uh, I be wearing my pink here and there on the job. We, we got wire pins and stuff like that. So, Tim and Dollar Man, I just want you to know, guys, I love you guys. I hope Tim will continue to get better. Looking good on Facebook, man. Last picture I seen of you and your sons, man. I was so happy to see you. Can I get out here? All right, we're going to telecom. Oh, is this a leave it at the door? Telecom room 208. Second floor, leave at the door. No problem. No problem. He's out of here. Can you see? Alright, we are out. We need to get over, but we can't get over yet. But we will after this cargo pass. Oh, yes, we will. Fight him. Don't flash your light, player. You got plenty of room. Got flashes light, like, hey man. I didn't cut you off. Oh, man. Turn left on Telecom Parkway North. Oh, you gotta be so loud, woman. Barreno. That bird got a nice new car, Barreno. Or Vern. Whatever the hell it is, it's nice. I'm bad with names. Okay, where'd this come from? Hmm. This fuse blown? So I got I got the brakes fixed. Um, I went and got a switch. I had my, uh, you know, when you're nice to people, people be nice to you. Uh, my maintenance man put it in for me. Didn't charge me anything, but I told him I, I treated him to lunch or something. I mean, he always looked. Every time I got the hood up, he he come over. So I treat them guys to lunch or something, sandwich or something. I ain't gonna forget about it, man. Oh, excuse me. So, I'm 
going to treat them guys, man. They've been, they been great, man. He always helping me out. It's three of them, so if I do, if I, if I give one, I'm gonna make sure all three of them got something. So I'm thinking about ordering a large pizza and delivering it to them myself. Thank them for all the what you call them. They take care of me, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> they take care of me. The whole office maintenance people are at my uh, complex. I speak to them. I talk to them every day. You know. I don't befriend nobody. I mean, this is just me. And they just always, man, always helping me out. Even when I had big birthday, they, they helped me work on them. Anytime I had problems, they was there. So, yeah, treat them guys at lunch. All right, man. Where we going at? I gotta get this soap off my hand. Okay, You've arrived. Somewhere. Destination is on your right. On my right? that way. I'm going to have to come back. Idiot cut me off. Ugh. All right, so we're going to go back. I'm not mad. I should have been in the right lane. I was in the left lane, so I got cut off. So ain't no need to have road rage. Bust this U-turn. Go back and get the people they boo. Back in the day, boy, he would have got it. I'm trying to be peaceful, guys. I'm trying to be peaceful. I'm right. Cisco. Let's find out where the hell we at. This can't be it. You've arrived at your destination. In 400 feet, turn left, then turn left. Oh, I hate this, man. Turn right on Woodstorf Drive. Said I'm In 900 here. feet, turn right on Telecom Drive. Then turn right. Oh, I see. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to match the dot up to the house. Um, turn left on Telecom Parkway North. I might have turned Then turn left. Bad. Yeah, I think I turned too early. Yep, that's what it was. Yep, here you go, right here. Turn left. Oh, then this turn is, left. Oh, that's a hotel. Okay. That explains it. That's an okay now. Yeah, that was nice. Right around the corner, seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Gonna put me up to twenty-nine dollars. Was that twenty-nine? No, twenty-eight fifty. All right. Okay. Is this a fun end? Think this the front entrance? If it ain't family, uh, I'm in trouble. All right, be right back. I'm back, family. Be. Yeah. All right. Let's see how quick we can get an order. 
All right, we're up 2850. Uh, we've only been working two and a half hours. We're at 2850. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Ten dollars and what's that? Twelve dollars and twenty-five cents an hour. Might as well say it's not bad. Right, so let's go, family. Cough is a 15, Trini. I forgot to tell you, cough is a 15. All right, guys, today is hell no Thursday. I already said it at the beginning, but just remember, you got three types of hell no's. And anybody can get all three of them at one time if you like. You got the hell no, which is basic. Somebody say something to you, say hell no. Then you got the one that's a little more complex, the hell no, hell no. That means you're getting on my nerves, but you know, I'm gonna tell you hell no. Then you got that big old powerful, oh, hell no. When you got that hiss at the end of that, no, man, you know ain't nothing going on, family. All right, family, I got to go. I reached that critical time in my video that I must say goodbye. I want to thank the um, Michelle and um, Alfonso I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for the Dunkin' Donut coffee cup. I'm very humble for your generosity. Uh, everything. I mean, just the whole package. I appreciate it. And thank you very much. Uh, it's a card on the way. My wife put in a, uh, sending out a card. A thank you card. So I, I just want to make sure that I let you know that's on the way. Please look out for that. Also, um, guys, if you don't have Frederick book, please go out and get it. It's a beautiful book. I mean, I'm telling you, if you ever been through something as a kid or went through any type of racial or any type of thing as a kid that uh, you kind of hid in that dark spot that you don't want to resurface, if we read this book, man, all that's going to resurface, man. And you'll see how this man dealt with everything, that, every challenge that came his way. So we appreciate you, Frederick, for opening up and uh, in honor of your father and uncle, man. I think you did a, a great job by it. Uh, the words and, 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 and how you put it together. So I want to thank you for that. Other than that, Bakari, Frederick, and uh-oh, fish on the hook. Oh, got one. Hold tight. Where we going? Chick-fil-A, $6. All right, we rolling, guys. All right, I got another order. Uh, Bakari, I want y'all to know, man. Uh, I'm going to be nibbling. But I'm not taking a bite out of nothing, man. I got to have like a $300 day to even be on y'all level. And then we know that ain't going to happen. All right, family, I got to go. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're, I mean, if you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, <laughs> you're not grubbing. You better get yourself some dashing grub, man. I was about to say I need to take a drink before I do this. So it almost came out. Ah. Hi, right, family. Love you. Peace.